Hello everyone. We were discussing the marketing chapter, and in the first video, we have discussed about what is market and what is marketing. Those two terms we were discussing in the last video, and now we are going to discuss the next topic, what is marketing management. And after that, in this video, we will discuss about the what is the difference between marketing and selling and different. Philosophies of marketing. These are the three topics we we are going to discuss in this video. Let us start with the first one: marketing management. Marketing management. We are very aware about the term management. If we are asked what is management, we will tell all about management. So, marketing management means the application of the management concept in marketing. That's all. Marketing means the it consists of various functions like planning, organizing, staffing, managing, and controlling. So, all these functions, if we apply it in the process of marketing, we can say that there is marketing. Okay, marketing management is the application of management techniques in the process of marketing, marketing of goods and services. The application of managerial activities in the process of marketing of goods and services. We can explain with the help of a definition which is given by a famous market marketing experts called Philip Kotler. Philip Kotler says that. Marketing is the art and science of choosing a target market. Marketing is the art and science of choosing a target market. It is the art and science of choosing a Target market, not only that, and can keeping or getting, keeping and growing customers. Okay, and getting, getting, keeping and growing customers. How keeping and growing the customers through creating and de uh, creating an offer, or we can say that through creating, delivering, and communicating a superior consumer value. Okay, by through creating, delivering, and communicating superior customer values. Okay, through creating. Then delivering through creating, delivering and communicating customer value. Customer values of management. So this is given by Philip Kotler, a famous marketing expert. So let us explain the definition being given by him. Marketing management is the art and science of choosing a target. Okay, so the first important thing is a target market. That means we have to select. It's the art of selecting, or art of, or art and science of selecting a target market. Target market means who are the person to whom we have to sell the 
goods and where we can sell the goods and when it can be sold and how it can be sold so all these things are the target markets okay the advanced science of choosing a target market to select a target market and in that market what to do getting the customers getting the customers we have to get the customers not only getting the customers after getting the customers what we have to do keeping them with us once we get a customer we should not allow that customer to leave us because that much satisfaction should be given to him so that he will not leave us so if once if we purchase a good from us the same person should be should purchase or continue to purchase the goods from us that is what getting some customers and keeping those customers and growing customers so first we let us get the customers and those who are getting to us those will should be retained keep them with us and along with them we have to find new customers that is only way of growing in the market get some customers and those who are coming to us should be retained because we have to satisfy their needs continuously and grow with the new customers how we will get new customers if we have some existing customers they will tell about us to them us to their friends or families and relatives and all. okay so in that way we will get new new customers so that's what it is the art and science of choosing a target market and getting keeping and growing the customers how to grow how to keep and how to get the customers through creating consumer values of management through creating through creating superior consumer values of management so how we can get the customers how we can keep the customers and how we can grow the customers how we for that we have to create some values of management okay so uh, values of management should be applied for getting the customers and keeping the customers and growing the customers not only creating them and should be delivered to them we have to give some value to them we have to give some conservation to them and that should be communicated to them they should understand that we are here to help them we are considering them in in an most important way that should be created and should be delivered and not only to be given to be communicated suppose if we are making some goods and delivering that to them that is part of sales but after that it should be communicated to them should be made understandable to them that we are creating the goods for the benefit of them and we are here to help them in their to satisfy their needs and wants so in that way uh, if we choose a target market and target market to be created and should have some customers so what growing or keeping the customers getting getting keeping and growing the customers and provide the consumer values then these are the three important things these are part of the steps in the process of marketing management okay so these are all the main things about management of marketing or marketing management okay so the first topic is over now let us discuss about the term marketing and selling okay marketing and selling so marketing and selling we have heard these two terms many times we are hearing that every now and then some 
very often there is used simultaneously with same meaning okay but we know that it is different how it is different and what are the differences between marketing and selling selling means handing over the goods or handing over the title of the goods by the supplier to the consumer that is called as selling okay that means exchange of goods from the supplier to the consumer that is called as selling what is marketing all the efforts to all the efforts which are taken to produce the goods and bring that into the market and satisfy and sell that to the customers for satisfying their needs and wants so all these process together can be called as marketing so it is clear that marketing is a wider term than sales or sales okay so let us discuss here what are the differences between the term marketing and selling the first one we can say that one is the part of the process and another one is wider part of the process versus wider which is the part of the process selling or sales is the part of the process and marketing is a wider so we have told in the initial class in the last class we have told that marketing starts before designing the product or before thinking about a product there marketing starts from there after production then when it comes to the market and when after that when it's transferred to the customers and then how they use so after delivering the goods or after selling the goods also marketing is there because we have to satisfy the needs of the customers so if they suffer from any problems about the product or suffer any problems on the product we have to rectify that that also is the aim of marketing so marketing is a wider term and sales is a part of that sales so marketing starts before production okay so before production it starts and during the production it exists and uh, it exists even that brings into the market and sells it and after sales also marketing exists but selling is a part of marketing uh, that involves transfer of the title of the goods from uh, seller to the buyer that means handing over the goods by the seller to the buyer that is called sales so that is one of the process of marketing or it is a part of marketing process and marketing is a wider term okay then what is the next point we can say that one is transfer of title and another one is satisfying consumer needs transfer of title versus satisfying customer needs or consumer needs so tra transfer of title is the aim of one of the process selling is the transfer of title transfer of ownership of goods from seller to the buyer that is called sales or selling then satisfying the consumer needs or customer needs is the this is the aim of market that's what after saying is we will give guarantee or warranty to the product why we are giving we have to make our customers satisfied with our product if they find some fault of the product that product that fault is to be repaired if they find that the product is not good that product is to be replaced that's why guarantee or warranty is given to make the customer satisfied so that exists after selling sales so marketing is there even after sales also and sales is sales ends when the goods is transferred from seller to the buyer 
So when goods reaches to the buyer, selling is over. But marketing exists even after that. So that the aim of say marketing is satisfying the customer needs. Okay. Then another one, the most important aim of mark selling is profit through maximizing sales. Profit through maximizing sales. Profit through maximizing sales versus customer satisfaction or consumer satisfaction. This is the main aim of aim. We are talking about the aim of the, both the terms. We can say that the aim of selling is profit to maximizing sales. By getting the maximum sales, we have to get the profit or maximize the profit through increasing the sales. Somehow sell all the products and sell, get the profit. That is the aim of sales. But Marketing make sure that whether the consumers are satisfied because we know that we have to get the customers, keep them with us and grow with them. Isn't it? So for that to keep, get the customers and keep them with us for a continue, on a continuous basis we have to satisfy their needs. And after that we have to get new customers to grow. So that is what we are saying that profit through maximizing sales versus consumer satisfaction. Okay. Then next we can tell about staff and end of activities. Staff and end of the activities. When marketing or where marketing starts. We have told that marketing starts before starting the production. Or to be specific we can say that marketing starts before designing the product or from designing the product. Then we think about the design or size or shape or look of the product. From there itself what startups marketing starts. That means before production marketing starts. And it continues during production and after production also. When it comes to the market also marketing exists. And when we sell the goods also marketing takes place. And after sales during the term of use also marketing is present. Because we have to satisfy the consumers. Okay. So Marketing starts from the designing of the products and end with the usage of the product or using of the product, consumption. But when the sales starts, sales starts then after the production of the goods. Or to be specific, we can say that selling starts when goods comes to the market and ends where it is sold. Where the title is transferred to the consumers. Okay, so that's what we can say. That's why we have told already that selling is a smaller term or a narrow term when we compare with the market. Okay, then the next point: difference in emphasis. What are the main emphasis of the product, of these two terms? Selling emphasis on bending the customers towards the market, towards the product, or inducing the customers for buying the product. Motivate the customers to buy the product. That means bending the customers to the product. That means in sales we think that this is our product. Somehow this is to be sold. So, make the customers to buy our available product. This product is available with us. Make them to buy. So, 
we will make all the we will take all the steps or initiatives to bend the customers with our existing product because we have to sell our product and get maximum profit but what ma marketing say things or emphasize a uh, marketing emphasis on consumer satisfaction what consumers are needed or wanted that will be produced so before production you will think about the customers needs and wants so accordingly we produce the goods but selling what it emphasizes we have already a product that should be sold by bending the customers towards our product in marketing we have to bend towards the customers to understand that what is their needs and wants and produce the goods accordingly understood that is the difference of emphasis in marketing and selling the next last point we can say that differences in strategies used what are the strategies used in order to induce the customers or in order to motivate the customers we use promotion techniques and various persuasion techniques in selling in selling we use the strategies like promoting the goods we will give more advertisement more sales promotion activities will be done and we will make the or we will take the efforts to persuade the customers or motivate the customers induce the customers to buy the product so all those things will be done that means we will make advertisement and sales promotion activities and then we will take the steps to motivate or induce the customers to buy the product but in marketing what it does in marketing we will we, we have already told that we will think about the consumer satisfaction that is our aim for that we will develop the product like that its praise then its promotion and physical distribution we can say that four p's that is the main strategy used the strategy used is the product we will product, make product which are desirable for the consumers which can be able to satisfy the needs of the customers then we provide or we fix a price which is fair and equitable for the customers product price then promotion after making the product with a desirable and a fair price we will promote the goods that means we will inform the customers or advertise the, to the uh, to the customers to know that this product is available in the market which can help your satisfaction or which can help your needs and wants and physical distribution after that it will be distributed near by the customers or it will be distributed to the neighborhood of the customers so that is what four p's product promotion then price physical distribution these are the various strategies used for marketing the products okay clear so these are the differences with of the term marketing and selling now let us discuss various marketing philosophies used in marketing the products marketing philosophies see there are various marketing concepts we will discuss here five different marketing concepts used in marketing the products that evolved according to the according to the priority or the according to the uh, what time of evolution we will write all the philosophies one by one that means the first philosophy will be discussed first see marketing became a serious thing after the industrial revolution or the early half of the industrial revolution the concept of marketing emerges and that concept of marketing emerges with, with a concept which is called the, the production concept
this is the first stage of evolution of the market it started in the first half of industrial revolution industrial revolution we know so industrial revolution mainly happens because of the invention of machines when the machines were invented production became easy and started producing the able to produce more so at the initial stage there were huge demand of goods and the production was very less production was very less because manual labor is very used for producing the products then when machines were introduced so in the early stage of introduction of machines in the industries production takes place in a speedy manner so more products start producing so those who are producing more products started getting more products because demand is there already there is shortage of products so those who are producing more products will get the benefits will get more profit so that was the first stage produce more and gain more profit that is called production process because when machineries were introduced those who are able to acquire the machines first could produce more and the, the demand is still there in the market and those who whatever we produce will be demanded it was not bothered about the quality of goods because there was shortage of products in the market so if you are produce if you are producing and selling that to the market or bringing that to the market whatever product is there that will be demanded whichever product is there it will be demanded so more profit more product and more profit that was the condition at that time so like that that stage continues so gradually during the process of industrial revolution more machines were introduced in the market and the, most of the nation business could acquire the machines and start products now what happens products accumulated okay due to the change in pattern of production from manual to the machine or manual intensive or labor intensive to the capital intensive technique of production product accumulated so production concepts came into an end how because we due to production concept philosophy more product came to the market from all side from all the industries so now there arises a struggle or difficulty in selling the product because more products came so production concept came to an end there and started another concept that is the product concept now the situation is that all this business organization secured machines and chapter production and all the products came to the market now there is uh, the question of making the profits now all the products came to the market now the customers can exercise their choice and select the best one so now the concentration is changed from production to products now the business organization started to think about how to make the product to be sold how to sell the products so now business organization uses the strategies used in the strategies to induce the customers to buy our product our product is already there in the market we have to sell those product so motivate the customers to buy our existing products so for that various Uh, advertisements were given sales promotion techniques were used and uh, all the products what is produced are intended to sell so there the concept changed from production to quality of products so now the question arises that whether the goods are goods are having the quality or if the goods are having quality it will have a demand people will purchase them. because all the products accumulated in the market now customers have got the chance to think about the quality of the product so if you have a quality product it will be sold 
So that is there arises the product concepts. So we have to concentrate on the product. Good quantity and quality of the products is the reason. Okay. So that is the main con content of the product concepts. Produce the goods with the fair price, fair quantity and quality. So now business organization started producing the product with the fair price, quantity and quality. Because if you are producing fair quantity, quality product, it will be sold. So that is uh, product concept. So that continued like that. Now, when one business organization started to think about the product and started producing quality products gradually, our business organization will do that because they also have to compete in the market. Okay, so all business organizations started producing good quantity and quality products at fair price. So now, if we think about from the point of view of the customers, they have the facility to get quality products from all the suppliers. So, there is no question of quality of the product or price of the product. Almost equal price, almost equal quantity and quality. So, now the customers can exercise their choice. So, in, in the market, all companies st uh, started supplying same quality, quantity products. So, all companies will get almost same so in order to increase the profit, they have to change the concept. So they change the concept and change it as the selling concept. Company started changing the concept to sell the, uh, sell the product. In order to sell their products better than other companies, what techniques are to be used? Those techniques were started using that giving adult, attractive advertisements, giving sales promotion techniques, using sales promotion techniques, giving uh, some advantages to the customers like discounts or quality addition, or like that some discounts or various benefits started giving to the customers because they have to increase the sales. So that arises the emerges the new concept that. Selling concepts. So gradually, all companies started using the same concepts. All start, companies started giving advertisement for their products. All start uh, giving or using sales promotion techniques, giving benefits to the customers. All companies start. So there is an equilibrium for that also. There is a stagnating point for that. Also. So there. When all companies use the same technique in the market, there are also customers, uh, there is a saturation point for that also. Now, again, companies take their position that all are getting almost equal benefits. So, there arises uh, a point of thinking about a new concept and develop a new concept that is called the marketing concept. Marketing concepts, as we have told about marketing, it is a concept about thinking or concept of thinking about thinking all about the product. From designing the product onwards to the stage of satisfaction. So here concept was changed from selling to consumer satisfaction. Now the efforts have to be taken for satisfying the customers and the retaining the purpose. Okay, so instead of selling, instead of selling and earning profit, we have to see that what the customers are needed, how we can satisfy the customers. For satisfying the customers, what are the things or what are the services to be provided to them? Company started, or business organization started thinking about that and adopted marketing techniques for marketing the Okay, now marketing techniques are using and last, now this is the time of society marketing concepts or social marketing concepts.
This is an advanced stage of marketing concepts, that social marketing concepts, which says that satisfying the customers by protecting the environment, satisfying the customers through a sustainable development with the nature, or satisfying the customers by protecting the environment. You may have seen the package of various products that clean the uh, surroundings, don't litter. Uh, surrounding or throw your package of the product in the dustbin like that the picture of a dustbin can be seen and uh, it will be written that throw the cover to the dustbin okay or keep the what surrounding neat and clean or keep the surrounding clean like that various messages you can see in the products so that is part of social marketing so now this is the era of an advanced marketing concept called social marketing concept which says that uh, satisfying the consumers by protecting the environment. Okay. So there in selling concept there are various layers of um, cons marketing concepts or various layers are there that is customers then uh, exchange mechanism then products all those things will be considered and produce the product in a, by keeping the uh, that uh, nature and interest of the consumers okay so selling concept say, sorry marketing concept says that producing the products for satisfying the needs of the customers and social marketing concept says that producing the products and satisfying the customers by protecting the Okay, these are all for today. So today we have discussed about marketing management, differences between selling and marketing and various marketing philosophies.